Um, what I want to say, I feel like it's, this is a love reading, but there is some general as well. So the middle card in the middle is the, for me, it kind of overrules the entire, all the other cards. So this is the entire energy for the reading. I feel like there's disappointments, there's regrets, there's loss. Um, this person right here is looking at the cups that are spilled and not really realizing that there's two cups on the other side, that there's still hope. There's still things that are left. You still have the ability to, to manifest what it is that you want, but you're too focused on looking on these spill, at looking at these spilled milk, uh, spilled milk. Well, yeah, spilled milk. Uh, spoiled milk at that. Um, I feel like you're just looking at all the negativity and not seeing the bright side of it. Okay. So here, I'm going to start off with the first card right here. So this card right here, the message for me is what I'm feeling is that I feel like a lot of you guys are still living in the past. Like your illusion, you're daydreaming about the person in the past, the person that you used to be involved with. Possibly you guys are hoping for a reconciliation with that person. I feel like you guys, if you pay attention, if you look closely, Majority of your cards have cups in them. So I feel like for the month of May, month of June, I keep saying May, the month since it is May, but for the month of June, I feel like it's going to be a lot of emotion, a lot of emotion, disappointment. Um, you're going to be in, really in your feelings for the month of June. Um, I, this right here is kind of like an illusion, I feel like. Like you consistently sit down and dwell about the person in the past. I don't see you moving on. I feel like instead of you picking up, you were not satisfied with this person. This person did not satisfy you. Um, it wasn't what you thought it was going to be. I kind of feel like it was one of those situations where they picked up and ran and they just left you there to fend for yourself or to, to um, really pick up the pieces, okay? So this card, since it's the sixth, normally when it's upright, this will signify the person moving on, looking for a deeper meaning. But since it's uh, reversed, this is stopping your change. This is stopping yourself from moving forward from that relationship. This You are stopping yourself. You're not accepting the fact that it ended um, and you're kind of just, want you want to relive the past, but at the same time, it's like, if you wanted growth, you can have it, but you're not going to get the growth if you don't leave the past in the past and, and accept that whatever happened, happened and move forward and move on. Because I feel like you're so stuck in the past and these illusions with this person from the past that it's like, you're blocking your own growth. You're blocking your own change. You're, you're blocking yourself, period. Maybe you might even say like, oh my God, where's the one for me or you know god send me the one like well, why can't i find somebody you can't find anybody because you're still crying over the last person okay um i feel like it, it's mainly just it was a very big great disappointment okay i feel like whatever happened with this person in the past um i feel like that person was promiscuous possibly that person might be they do things out of spite like they can date multiple people at the same time they were not completely honest they were unfaithful um i feel like you kind of know that they kind of they lie to you but at the same time you, you're not listening to the rider flags you don't care you're still living in the past you're hoping for that reconciliation of some kind they're not coming back anytime soon i want to say so for those of you who are hoping for that reconciliation i feel like that invitation that you're expecting it's not going to happen, okay? If you're expecting a reunion or something, it's not going to happen. It's not going to be what you think. You're hoping for something more than what it really is, okay? Um, another message I want to tell you, if you were expecting for someone to come and visit you, the, the plans got canceled, okay? Plans are canceled. Um, you're, it's kind of like, I feel like, it's you guys are such in a negative mind, state of mind, that it's like you're, you're giving up. Like, instead of persisting despite the setbacks, if anything, I feel like you guys are just giving in and saying, you know what, nothing's going to be good. Nothing is good for me right now. I don't even care about anything anymore. It is what it is. Like, you're just settling for whatever it, you're getting. And that's not the case at all. Okay. <clears throat> um, Another thing, too. I feel like that person that you're you're dwelling for in the past you are disappointed and you have regrets about whatever happened or however you ha however it ended and i feel like that person that you were involved with they played they could possibly be a pisces scorpio cancer i feel like what happened is that they played a role 
and they made themselves seem like a specific person or that they were this really good person. But in reality of it is that they weren't what you thought they were. It's more of an illusion. The entrapment that you feel that you can't move and you're stuck and you're binded is more of an illusion. It's an illusion to you. It's something that you're starting to believe. So that is the reason why you're not moving and you're not manifesting what it is that you want. I feel like that person that you were dealing with, they, they had a certain, they had a false mask and the mask finally came off. And I feel like you were so disappointed because they disappointed you and you were thinking that it was something long term and that they really wanted to be with you. But in reality is you really got to know what that person is like. Okay. Um, energy for this reading isn't so bad, but I just, I don't want to say that it's very negative, but I feel like it's very emotional and a lot of you guys are, you know, refusing to move forward and manifest what it is that you're seeking. If you're seeking love, you can manifest that. You can, but at the same time, it's like, you're not going to manifest that if you don't, you know, give yourself some hope, give yourself uh, a chance to renew any problems or anything that you're having. Um, you will get the answers to them. I feel like the more and the most biggest thing for you guys for the month of June is inner, your feelings, your emotions, your emotions are going to be imbalanced for the month of June. Um, it's no longer retrograde. Um, it officially finished on the 22nd, if I'm not mistaken, and we're no longer in it. It's May the 24th, I think it is today. Um, this is for June, so possibly it would, might be, you might be feeling this, you know, in the middle of, um, June, but I feel like there's just a lot of things that you don't know about, okay? Focus on yourself. Know that what, whatever less, whatever happened in the past, learn the lesson from it. Don't go back to somebody from the past, because possibly you're hoping for a reconciliation with that person, because you're still thinking about it, but I wouldn't even give that at the time of day. I feel like the most important thing for you is you're going to get justice, so who Whoever did something to you and hurt you in the past, you, you will get that chance to see them again and basically like tell them what it is that you that you wanted to tell them and how they hurt you and stuff like that. Um, for those of you who are single, I feel like you, you need to just take some time out and you will have a person that's going to return to you from the past. But I feel like it's like... Although that they're returning, you will have that justice for that, so that you can tell them how you feel and how they treated you. Um, but at the same time, I feel like you you're you're weighing your options. You might talk to several people, or you know, this offer might come out of the blue. This person from the past might come out of the blue. But at the same time, you're not really looking. Um, you know, you're looking at everything that's in front of you. Like you, you're weighing your options as far as like who you're going to date and stuff like that. I also feel like, uh, for those of you who are a Sagittarius, a lot of you guys might be looking at these three cups, like these three different, these three people, and then you're not noticing the one on the side of you. Okay. So possibly there might be somebody around you of a Libra sign that you're not really giving them energy. Um, uh, this is a, this is a Libra. This is a the balance card. This is a Libra, but I also feel like maybe it can be an air sign because Libras are air signs. So it could be Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, I'm sorry, Libra, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Okay, so there's somebody there that in your mid uh, mist that you're not really paying attention to. Um, they can be a perfectly good suitor for you, but you're like they're not your usual type. Okay, they're not someone that you would normally date. So it's kind of like you're not really giving them the time of day. Okay, so try to really focus on your inner. Inner, inner is the biggest thing. I'm going to pull up a little bit of more of clarity cards. Hopefully this makes sense. Um, I feel like some trip will be coming. Possibly some of you guys might be taking a trip by plane or by, uh, uh, you know, by car or something. But there's a trip that's going to be made. But that trip that you possibly want to go on, maybe it could be canceled, okay? I feel like you're going to go out of town to see people. It could be three or more people. Um, you were really excited, but you're going to be disappointed because it's not going to happen the way you wanted it to. What are the messages for? Oh, you know what? I'm not supposed to use this guy. So there's going to be an invitation of some kind, okay? So for those of you who are dealing with multiple people, you got a page of rods, which is a Sagittarius like you guys. So that is basically um, a uh, fire sign Sagittarius, Aries, and um, Leo. And then you also have a Knight of Pentacles, which is an earth sign, Capricorn, 
Taurus, and Virgo. So there's two energies that you guys are dealing with. I feel like you guys are going to get an invitation to travel. Um, you have an, you're going to get an invitation from afar. Okay. Possibly it might be to travel. Um, there's two energies. One of them is somebody from, maybe you guys will meet somebody from work. Um, I feel like one of the er energies that you guys are involved with or talking to, it might be a good time. Okay, maybe uh, you guys might go out a lot, have a couple drinks, um, try not to indulge too much because a lot of you guys, I feel like, will have sex without love. Now, there's not going to be a real deep meaning, but there will be some type of, uh, you know, satisfying your, your sexual needs or how, whatever it is um, that you need. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. Okay, so... For those of you who are single, I feel like one of the person is going to give you, you know, tell you that they want to be with you. And then you got that one that you, you're going to meet. One of them is like a business person. They have money. They have their stuff together. It's going to be, it would be good, advisable to try to talk to them. So there's two people I see here, energy around you. Let me see what are the, what else are messages I can pull from you. Let's see what the reverse comp. Wow, amazing. Still the same cards. You got the five of cups as well. Okay, so you have friends and family that are there for you. I feel like a lot of the times, a lot of your friends and family might tell you that you have to move on or you have to like, uh, you know, try to something new, try to date somebody different or something out of your, on, on your regular atmosphere or the regular person that you date. I feel like what's stopping the movement from you moving forward is the regret. You have so much regret. Um, attached to the person from the past that it's like you can't you're not moving forward because you're too busy with the clouded energy and the negativity that you're you're perceiving to right now to your current situation i feel like a lot of you guys might feel like you're stuck like there is no bite like you can't attach yourself even if you want to detach yourself from the person from the past you just can't your heart is not letting you you're not allowed to let me pull out I'm going to pull out another three cards. What are the clarities on the six of cup? Okay, so for the person in the past, I feel like it's an opportunity for a rebirth. So possibly those of you who are going are hoping for that reconciliation with somebody, somebody from the past may return and it would be a beginning of something new with them. But at the same time, I feel like um, focus on yourself, improving yourself. What you need to do is start working on your inner and don't worry about who you're going to meet and who's coming to see you. And, you know, if you're going to find the right person, assessments need to be made. I feel like what the problem is right now is your financial. Maybe a lot of you guys are not doing good financially. Collaboration will have to be needed. Make assessments. So when that person comes back, make sure that that's what you want because I feel like that person is not a suitor for you. They don't genuinely care about you as you care about them. So just make sure that you really, really think about what it is that you want and who you're investing your time in because time is like wasted money you'll never get it back okay so let me pull up a couple more clarity cards at the bottom for that person that's not honest that was not honest to you that cancellation of a trip hope is going to be renewed king of swords and um energy is scattered so i feel like um like I said before, that person that you dealt with was not completely honest. Um, I feel like they were trickery. They could have been lying. They could have been cheating on you the, t the, the entire time. I feel like you need to let that go and restore your hope. Be firm. Stand strong. I feel like you can, you're very weak towards that person. If they came back and said, hey, let's start it all over again, you will do it. You need to take time out to figure out what is your want. Uh, you're not a satisfied financially or emotionally. So I feel like in order for you to be fulfilled emotionally you'd have to be steady you have to be um happy financially okay your energies are very scattered i feel like that person that's uh, a lot of you guys might have dealt with they have multiple partners they're not completely honest they wouldn't even be honest with you even if they came back so even if they come back for those of you who are going to get a reconciliation it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to stay for a long time i feel like by the time they come back it's like you you have to eventually wake up and say you know what you're what I wanted back then. But right now, I'm on to something better and bigger. Isolation. 
Okay, you got a new job opportunity coming your way, a new opportunity, a gift of some kind, prosperity of some kind. Don't isolate yourself. Remember that whatever is done to somebody, it always comes back to them. So it's kind of like karma. What goes around comes around, okay? Try not to isolate yourself too much. So if you're looking for love, blocking yourself out, not going out, staying in the house, depression, sadness, you know, you feel like you're going crazy. That's not helping you. You're going to get a new, a new job offer of some kind, a gift of some kind this is something new coming your way you have the roses it's something new that will be coming your way learn your lesson okay learn your lesson and whatever happened in your past learn the lesson from it as well because that's the most important thing for you guys is learning the lesson and having hope believing yourself whatever happened happened it's fine but don't dwell on it okay